Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. Libra, here are your cards for the week starting the 17th of July from the Teacup Tarot deck. And your overall energy is the card 16, Life Experience. Now, this is all about positive changes and specifically about learning from the past and taking all those pearls of wisdom with you into your next venture. Your help or your hurdle, Four of Pencils card says, remember this week to schedule some time for rest and relaxation. Now, if we look at the card, look, they're reading a book, having a cup of tea, putting their feet up. That's just what you need to be mindful of this week. Because very often in these times when we think nothing is happening, that's when everything is happening because we're leaving that space so we can hear the whispers of our angels and we can be aware of the prompts from the universe. So time out is key for you this week. Your guidance here, we've got the first card in the whole deck, card zero, the dreamer. This is lovely. This is about new beginnings. This card says you are ready. Take that leap of faith. You can stand behind the doors of opportunity for long enough. It's up to you to open the doorway and step through. So it's trying something new, doing something differently. How can we help ourselves? The page of coins shows up. Now the pages are all messengers and the page of coins says it's time to do the research. Study, find out as much information as you possibly can. And this can help with this movement forward. You really do need to get as much information as you can and it'll help this new opportunity. The more you know, the easier it is to step through those doors because you have more idea of where you're going and what you would like to do. So the page of coins comes in and says, do the homework. Pulling it all together, the 10 of coins is lovely. This is the card of financial security, peace of mind, happy family life, happy home life. And the final outcome card, the seven of wands, is a mindfulness card that reminds you, you might need to stand up for yourself this week. This card has come up in some of the other readings as well. And if we look at the illustration, look, she's so close to success, but between her and success is a flock of grumpy sheep behind a gateway. Now she's going to have to walk through them to get to where she's going. So she's going to have to be assertive and kind. And those two lovely qualities will serve her well. So let's just look at the tarot cards to start with on their own. A week of positive changes and wonderful new opportunities. Take your time. Think it through. Take your time. Do your homework. Find out all the information you can because the happiness and joy is here. You may have to be assertive and stand up for yourself and just be kindly assertive as you are ready to start off on this new opportunity. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. The 14 of wisdom says compromise, bring wonderful ideas together. This is the card of balance. This is the card of conversations. This is the card of compromise. And again, mixing ideas together. The eight of wisdom says do what you know is the right thing to do. 
be guided by your moral compass. So focus on qualities of honesty, integrity, fairness and wisdom. The seven of thoughts says it's time for you to follow your new plans now. Focus on your needs and move forward with optimism. And look, she's closing the door on the old ways. And now she's simply focused on her needs, her new direction and a brand new focus. This is where you might need to be a little bit assertive. Make sure that your needs are taken care of are very much in the forefront. The Five of Wisdom is about working in groups, seeking out mentors and teachers, everybody bringing something to the table for the benefit of everybody else. So it's fallen under the page of coins here. So this is where you're going to get your information from. Read it up, research, talk it over, talk to other people and gather as much information as you possibly can. The nine of action says keep going, focus on self-belief, self-support, stay persistent and stay determined. And the seven of emotion, look, we're finishing on two sevens here. This is about careful choices and decisions. So you really do need to get your research and your information in place. The seven of emotions says choose with care and make wise and sound decisions. Choose the sunflower, not the cactus. So looking at the cards overall, very much a week of positive change, wonderful new opportunity. The mindfulness homework for you is being gently and kindly assertive, focusing on new plans which include your needs and a new way forward for you. Talk things over. Do your homework. Do what you know is the right thing to do. And then the positive change, the new opportunity when you've done your homework, you've, you've done the research, you've thought it through, you've made wise and sensible choices, the financial security, the emotional security, the happy home life, the happy life is here for you. And in order to get there, balance, compromise, homework, research, talking it over, taking your time to think it all through and then getting this new plan underway and making the most of these positive new changes. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It's free. Make the bell ring and then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.